Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna see if Tableau can run on an M1 Mac. Now, a little bit of context here. I was actually on a screen share with my brother a while back, uh, literally just a few hours ago, and we did a screen recording whilst we were on Google Meet. Uh, hence, this is uh, this is sort of a, a, a sort of a playback of that. And I'm actually talking over the video. So if anything's slightly off tune with the video, that's why uh, the two are kind of recorded separately. So that's pretty much it. But here we have it. Um, my brother got his M1 uh, MacBook Air 16 gig of RAM. Um, the funny thing about M1 Max is you can't really spec them up. So there's only one type of chip, one processor, one speed. So this is just the baseline uh, MacBook Air with 16 gig of RAM. Now, if you're a tech fan like me, you've probably been watching the reviews of people doing crazy things with these very, very um, essentially cheap computers for what they're able to do in terms of performance. So um, we basically wanted to see uh, if this can run Tableau. Now, the real big USB for me, if if I ever if I ever ran Tableau on an M1 Mac, is actually the fact that an M1 MacBook Air has no fan. So just imagine doing all that work, all that thing with no fan in your computer. Um, I have a MacBook Pro myself. Um, it's quite a you know decently spec 16 inch model, and basically I hear the fan 95% of the time. So just to work with it and have not fan not going would be would be great. Now here you can see we actually just downloaded the installer straight from the tablet website nothing different we just downloaded the, the dmg file which is like a package file for installers on a mac and uh, it just runs fine and what essentially happens in the background here is a piece of software called rosetta and uh, rosetta 2 to be precise actually does some translation so it looks at the installer software it's obviously designed to run on intel technology and it's essentially translating the underlying instructions to a arm based uh, instruction essentially and so it's not a perfect comparison, and so therefore this is not optimized. So when Tableau make uh, software, they essentially make it for Intel-based PCs, and they optimize it for that. That's why you can have it on a Mac and a PC. Um, but we'll come to that point in a second, because recently Tableau have been making Tableau in the browser. So we'll come to that in a second. It's an important thing to bear in mind. But essentially, the installer runs fine. Um, there's nothing really big here. There's no alerts, no warnings, nothing even saying that this isn't really natively supported. And you can see here, we've just gone on the download site and we've just got a basic uh, installer going on there. Okay, now we're nearly done with the installation. We're just waiting for this to finish. Um, one thing I will say is I'm actually recording the videos for 2020.4. That is due to be released sometime soon. I'm really hoping it's in 2020 and not in 2021. But um, I did something different with that release. I actually recorded the entire set of videos in the browser. Okay, so I did the whole entire recording in the browser, which is crazy if you think about it, right? So this is a product that has you know, started out on Windows, then came to the Mac, and with Tableau Prep, actually, Tableau Prep was the first part of the Tableau software to go to the browser. So when we look at the title of this video, will Tableau be able to run on an M1 Mac? Well, essentially, yes, because if it's got a browser, then I think next year, actually, um, Tableau Online in the browser with Tableau Prep and Tableau Desktop in the browser will probably be the best version of Tableau for several reasons. It gets updated immediately. It gets patched frequently because it's Tableau Online. It's run and managed by Tableau. Um, and then secondly, um, the resources are much, much better managed because it's running on a big AWS cluster where lots of people are using it at the same time. Tableau can look at the you know general performance of all the assets there and optimize it to work really, really well. So um, I actually think next year, 2021, might be the year where we turn to the browser as uh, you know skilled professionals in Tableau uh, for what it does. But anyway, let's carry on here with the video. Let me hit play again. Um, you can see the installation was successful. No, no big iffies there. Um, it was really sort of easy to install. And now it's just a matter of running the software. So um, whenever I finish an installation here, we always put the files in the bin and we'll just wait for the next step. Okay, so now I'm just hitting the command space and we're basically running Tableau from the spotlight search function. And you can see again, it just opens up fine. Now, what's interesting is if you open up software like Adobe Photoshop or other software, there's, there's some sort of warning to say, hey, this isn't gonna work. So um, it's really interesting because if what Tableau is doing is they're using um, instruct graphical instruction sets to do some of the processing in the background, or they're using specific sort of Intel-based instruction sets, and Apple has actually been able to do those translations like for like, then this is actually quite cool because it should mean that all of Tableau runs really, really well. But this is not an official playback. I'm just basically showing you how it works. It runs really well. I wouldn't recommend anyone run this in a production setup. Even if you're a super keen bleeding edge fanboy, 
don't do this on actual work because trust me, what you don't want to do is find out that aggregations don't work properly. Or you don't want to find out that, you know, something basic like actions don't work properly. And unless you really do extensive testing, you won't find those until there's a problem. So um, just a pro tip there, don't, don't use this uh, to run your production software. But here you can see we're in the Tableau. Um, we've opened up Superstore Sales. Now, a little bit of advice here. I was actually walking my brother through how to use Tableau in this set. So you can see he's a little bit, um, you know, looking around here but eventually we got there in the end um, and I asked them basically to do the basic uh, setup of um, a Tableau workbook so essentially take an extract make sure everything's good and also make sure that uh, you, you know you can use it and it's zippy and it's fast and you can see it does everything as you'd expect it to do no real lag no real sort of uh, performance gripes or stutters it just worked Pretty much, if I had this next to another laptop, which was an Intel-based MacBook Air, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but I absolutely guarantee you that this will run much, much faster. Um, this will run much, much faster. The other thing, as I noticed, is that uh, when we were doing this, we were on a, we were on a call. I was in a um, you know Google Meet call for a long while, and um, his battery went down only 7% on the entire call. And we were on it for an hour. He was doing a screen recording and running Tableau and installing everything. And we were, you know, chatting, you know, like brothers do in the background for a whole hour. And his battery only went down to 10%. Just crazy. Like, I don't think I could do that on my laptop without at least getting to halfway through the battery. And I've got a big, big battery with a big laptop. So here we are. Anyway, here you go. Um, Tableau works really well. Um, we were actually able to take an extract here. Nothing wrong here. I thought this might be where the issues start to turn up because um, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult. But no, everything works just as expected and uh, we were able to load it up. So in conclusion, look, it runs on an M1 Mac. Um, I still wouldn't use it and trust it just yet. Until Tableau themselves officially say, hey, this is good to use in an M1 Mac, I wouldn't use this in a production setup. It's not advised. Um, what people will probably do, someone will get this and start using this day to day, and eventually we'll start to see the bugs coming out, but you don't want to be that person. Uh, it's not advised. Secondly, Tableau is coming to the browser, and at that point, to be honest with you, it won't really matter whether it runs on an Intel or an M1 based Mac. It'll just work in the browser. And if you've got Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, whatever browser you use, um, you'll pretty much be able to get the best of Tableau through the browser rather than uh, using it. And in many ways, that will be better because you won't have to install software on your machine. It'll be easy, instantly available, um, instantly deployed with your licenses and everything working great. So that's pretty much been it. If you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Otherwise, if not, hit the dislike button twice and I'll catch you in the next video.